Alright, so before we get to the second half of the Dragon's Lair, or land of uh, Quest for Camelot, uh, for a second there I was actually having hopes that I was playing Dragon's Lair. Sorry. Time to go over something just heartbreaking. So I was looking into how far into the game I was, hoping the end was near, since, well, the dragons kind of come in near the end of the movie. But I found a very startling, terrible thing out. I'm only on, like, level 4 out of, like, 10. To make matters worse, I actually left a whole lot of stuff behind me. Like, I figured out I was missing more than a few heart containers since I found the first one last time. But, uh, there was also a compass in the first level that was supposed to help point me to the next location of where to go and to find all the secrets. Which explains my clueless meandering, actually. Also, Merlin at the end of each level is supposed to give you a parchment if you collect all the secret secrets in the level. So, I miss that a lot. Luckily, okay, the uh, scrolls and parchments, as they call it, only slightly affect the ending, like the cutscene of the ending. So I am moving forward, sadly. Hopefully I can get this episode done and get through the sh game at a relatively better pace. Let's get cooking with fire. Okay, into the second part of the Dragon's Realm. Let's grab the leaf here to like, jump ahead really quickly. Okay, last time we found a heart and all this other stuff and... Ah, uh, screw it, I already mentioned in the preview why I'm so distraught about this. So let's finish up the Land of the Dragons, handling these little guys. I already saved last time, didn't I? Oh, yeah. That's how much I need? That's nearly twice what I have now. Ugh. Thankfully, enemies get so stunlocked in this game. I feel like I'm gonna die if I try. Oh, there we go. Thank you, hit detection. Come on. Ah. There we go. Okay, nowhere around here. Gotta like dart attack here. It at least speeds up movement here. Oh yeah, and it takes a good chunk out of anyone's health. Ah! That sounded more painful than it was. Okay. Haha. -ha. Dodge, parry, duck, spin into the swampy muck. Brilliant. Okay. Thankfully, the dragons don't seem to respawn or know how to get around trees. Okay, so up here. Watch out for the muck. Take care of this guy. You know, these dragons aren't really that big. I don't know why Devin and Cornwall were afraid of them. Actually, I think they're bigger than them. And they get a heart refill. They make a fancy sprite for the heart refill, but they make a little teeny tiny heart for the one, the level up ones. Whoop! Let's not fall on that. Ah! I might be in trouble. Let's see. As long as I don't end up... There we go. I can breathe. I can fight. Ah. Come on. Okay. Up here. Okay. 
Ah! That's up here. Oh, I just went around in a circle. That experience thing didn't look like it lowered. Oh, I read it wrong the first time. The upper one needs to match the lower one in order to... Uh-oh. Is this going to be a new unique boss, or is this going to be one of those giant-sized enemies we already fought? At least I have that one up, that heart thing. And it's a giant-sized enemy we already fought. Okay, let's get it. I, um, I think the leaf will work. Haha. -ha. I'm not even really dealing damage to this guy, am I? I'm really not. There we go. So I guess you have to hit him a few times to damage him, maybe? Or is it the head? It also doesn't look like the fire is coming out right. That might be a glitch. <laughs> I can outlive you! Maybe not. There we go. Now... What? Am I supposed to go to the next level? Teleport me. Where am I going? Come on. Oh, this is ridiculous. Don't tell me the game glitched out the exit. Game is so irritating. Let's just sink in here and see what happens. I'm gonna take a guess at the whole boss respond. Oh dear god. Nope. Great. That. You know what? Give me a minute. I'm not gonna like you guys rewatch all that. Okay, so it was gonna be nice and not show you some grinding, but look at this. You actually can't go back to the next area. They lock you out of there. Okay. Here we are again. Okay, look at this. That's the exit. Was that there before? I'm pretty sure that was not there before. Okay, anyway. I don't even decide to show you guys the fight with the guy this time. Okay, Merlin, you have survived the hostile dragon's territory, honed your fighting skills, and made a new friend, Devin and Cornwall. That's actually two friends. They seem weak, but do not underestimate the amount of help they can offer you on your quest. You are well on your way to recovering Excalibur. Destroy Ruber, saving your mother, and becoming a true knight. You must regain your strength and continue on. Excalibur is still out there, and Ruber is getting closer. Kayla, you've discovered all of the secrets. I can now create a piece of ancient parchment. There are one step closer to restoring Kayla to its former glory. Yeah, this is the other problem with that whole, I've been missing out on things. That's what this thing is. You're, you actually have to collect everything in every level to get this thing. Sadly, it reminds me of Page Master. Ugh. I don't really want to redo that game. It has been discovered that Ruber enlisted the aid of an evil magician. <laughs> this wasn't in the movie, what? It was this magician who supplied Ruber with a potion to create his horrible minions. Wasn't that witches? He said it was witches in the song. And how he continues to work on a new spell for Ruber because Merlin has sensed his evil magic and tells Kaylee that she must defeat the magician to prevent him from completing the spell. Okay, so, magician. I guess they were listening to the Nostalgia Critics bitch about how no magic potion is not explained, so here we go. <laughs> oh god, I think we got the thumbnail for the episode. Uh, I can't show that. That'll be for next episode. I'm gonna open on that shot. It's gonna be my new still shot.